And hello, my name is Nicholas, and uh, someone asked me to make a video walkthrough of Moog. And um, I'm going to do it with this first version of the game. And uh, I hope it will be helpful to get playing. So Moog is a game where you play cooperative two teams, consisting of each team of two cavemen. And uh, you're trying to down a hunt down and uh, kill a Moog. So, this is the setup. You have two uh, map, map cards placed together in the center. You have a mammoth card, you have the player card, you have a score card, you have the control card for the loop. And uh, I will go in depth with everything here. So, sorry for all my stupid pauses if I'm going to check something in the rules or or anything else, I will try to cut out the worst stuff I make. So, one player is controlling these two guys. It's the red team. And the red team's leader is this guy. And he's also having a sidekick Cayman, the green guy here. And the other team is the brown team, with the brown leader and his sidekick, the white Cayman. And uh, hopefully there will be a game update where I have Another two came in. So at the start of the game, make sure that you are not having this side up where they are hurt. You need to have the uninjured side up. And this is the board, and uh, you start by placing the Cayman tokens on their respective spaces, and you take a big die, as big as you got. This is this, this one could be bigger, and you place the move on the four feet marks in the ground and you have a uh, make sure it's the with the, the six pips up because this is the move health and your mission is to get it down to zero uh, you place the move control card next to the board but what we need to know is that the direction of this uh, this uh, move is very important so at the moment it's pointing Upward here, and this means that the mammoth is move is, uh, is move is moving this direction towards the wall. And you see, there's an orange line here. This is the wall is impassable terrain for the human and for the move. So whenever the move rotates in any direction, it means that it now goes to the right. From the, from the camera angle, you are watching this in. This die is not so big, but uh, it should. The, the move is covering four spaces at all times. So it moves like this one, two in the center, and it covers the four spaces it touches. I'm just going to move this one back, like so. And up here we have a point reference card and uh, three spaces to, uh, to keep track of. Which team is in the lead? Remember, you need to kill the mook together to succeed. If the mooks run away or the king and die, both teams or tribes lose the game. But if they kill the mook, the tribe with the most savage points wins. So, let's say, for example, stabbing the mook from the front is a very daring act and it will add you one savage point. I'll get into the points in a moment. This strange card is the, the Moog control card, and it uh, determines what the Moog does in its turn. And the red die is a die moved to the right at all time, and, and the, the number on the die tells you the rage of the number. So the maximum rage the Moog can have is 6, and it means it's much harder to kill when it's enraged. Whenever a caveman tries to hit the move, the, the move rage die will immediately... It uh, doesn't matter if you hit it or not. Whenever you try to hit it, the move rage die will increase by one and go down uh, in a straight line down one. And you can also see here on the side of the card, I'll just zoom in. Here you see Rage 1, Rage 2, Rage 3, Rage 4. So at Rage 4 the die is moving to the right in this row, 
When it gets to the end, you flip the card and it continue on the other side, moving to the right. In these two rows, the MOOC, great, MOOC takes two actions. You can see it on the red, the red arrow here. In the first two rows, the MOOC only takes one action. And in the last two rows, in the range five and six, the MOOC takes three actions every, every time it's, it's, it's turn. The game always starts with the, the one payment from each team. So first, it's a red payment and the white payment that takes action. Then it's the move turn, and then it's a green and brown turn, and then it's the move turn again. And in this way, it continues until someone wins, either you or the move. So let's take a look here. The red came and he should uh, he should make it an, an action choice. And he will place his action cube on one of the orange arrows. Placing it on this arrow means that he grab and move this round. Placing it on this arrow means that he aim, which is a regular shot with a plus two to the roll, and move at the same turn in any order. You choose the order yourself. This arrow, scare, move, and this arrow, move two and move one. So placing it here will move three. Since the move is in the center and we are all out here, I think it's Never just to start moving three. And uh, <clears throat> since I'm now playing both sides, oops, sorry, we'll have to choose something for the white thing, as I said. He can either grab a move like the other guy we saw, but he has some other actions down here. He has sedate and move and climb the move and move. So placing it on this orange means that you can move one and then try to climb it. Or try to climb it and, for example, if unsuccessful, you can move one. Any order you like. Uh, he has a regular stab action. The red guy here just means that uh, you need to roll equal or higher to the move rage. The move rage is currently, oops, it starts here. That one. So currently, if you're standing next to it, everything is fine. We're just going to kill it. Or We'll start here with moving three as well. So let's see. Red can move, you can move uh, straight lines and you can move diagonal lines. So you just move one, two, three. And the same here. One, two, three. Ah, he goes down here. And now it's a move turn. And since we are up in the two first rows here, there's one little red arrow. The move guy moves one. And whatever it lands on here, you can see it's a triangle. Triangle means that move will move one space forward. And the direction, oops, the direction here is because the card will play, start places, the uh, replace that start starts pointing towards the wall. Okay, so now you probably want to know what all these things are, but I think we will get into that in a moment. So, Mook has had, has had its turn, and now it's a brown and green cayman. Starting with the brown, he chooses to, let's see, he chooses to uh, attract it. And Oops, this is the wrong one, we need to do one. The green guy, he tries to move closer to it, because it's very far away. He moves three, actually it's uh, the brown, brown player's turn first. And he only, oops, the brown player only moves one, and then tries to attract, attract it. Whenever you try to attract or scare uh, the move, you Check the center line of the MOOC, which is this line, currently because it's, it's uh, facing the wall. This line is the center line. Whichever side you are on, when you attract it, you will try to turn it 90 degrees towards you. When you scare it, you try to turn it 90 degrees away from you. So, attracting here, and we're going to try roll. Uh, yes, a success, because it's 4, 5, or 6. 4 plus, that is a success. 
with facing of the moon. Okay, so now it looks a little bit dangerous because white is in the path of the moon. Uh, both players moved, and now it's moved turn. Move, move one to the sun. The sun says in the rules that move if it has on its left or right side and exit. And everything on the edge of the board that is not an obstacle is an exit. So it can't move through this tree, but it can get out here. Uh, since there's a wall on the left side, it's not so a uh, good place for the move to run, so it has an exit on the right side, it will turn towards that exit. I'll turn it like this then. And press for a second, I'll rotate the dial as well. Okay, and red and white are actually placed quite well, because now we need to explain this move card. Ah, it's a bad way to explain it when it's turn. <clears throat> I'll do it like this. Maybe I'll move it closer so you can see. Okay. The spaces around the uh, on the board, the, the, the 12 spaces around it, is represented here on the card. So this white guy is standing on the side here. If it was on the diagonal to the four move spaces, it would be here. This red guy is standing here, and this green guy is standing here. I hope you get it now. And, and I'll just do it like this. It's easier for me to see. The small white die are where the move attacks when it attacks. So when move attacks and rolls a three, he will attack to this side. So now when he puts it downward, a three is to the side where the white guy is. Um, when you're standing on this uh, next, the adjacent spaces where there is a brown number, minus number, it's uh, something you need to sub subtract your, your roll when you try to hit the move. Um, the only place there's a plus to your road is when you're sitting on top of it. The red arrows here indicates that, in the corners indicates that if you successfully hit the move from one of these spaces, it will turn 90 degrees in the indicated direction. And these things, hands, with furnace and across on top of it in every corner, just says that you can grab onto the move from the diagonal spaces. So that uh, should cover the new card. Um, white and red are then standing with a minus one. But uh, since the move is at rate one, then uh, when they try to hit it, only one will be unsuccessful. So I think they both will try to give it a shot. Actually, um, red, red leader here, he has a he has an aim shot with a plus two to the roll, which means that he will be successful no matter what and uh, the white guy he will be afterwards so he <clears throat> he will try to climb it instead of attacking it um, red player first he doesn't yeah he does move one he can move one always remember you do both actions so he starts by moving one and then attacking and it's a success no matter what when you hit the move you need to do the following things, and it's very important to keep track of it. First, you lower its health by one, like so. Secondly, you always, it doesn't matter if you hit it or not, you always when you try to hit it, increase the rate with one, and then move it directly to the row below where it was. So now the move is on rage, it is on rage two, and the small numbers with uh, two plus here and three plus here and four plus here is a uh, is uh, is the save rolls the players need to make if they hit, depending on the rage of uh, the move. And the last thing you need to do when you hit make a successful hit is to update your score. Okay, so red here he was standing uh, on the side hitting the move. He took one life, that is one point. 
he, he wasn't on the top, he wasn't from the front, he didn't get hit, he wasn't getting the throw. So it's only one point. The point tracker here is red team is to the left, brown team is to the right. Whenever red team makes a point, you move it, you move it by to red team. If they're the first one to make a point. If brown was the first one to make a point, we would move it there. Now, if brown makes a point next, scores a savage point, you will not move the eye completely or because red was in the lead with one, so you just eliminate that one by moving the eye to the center. If brown instead had made two points, you move the die over, and then the, die, the brown team would be in the lead with one point. Now, red hit it and is in the lead. Okay, uh, white we're gonna try climb it, and we'll start by rolling that on a 3 plus. But, that's not good. Just to uh, make this video more fun, I'm gonna cheat and roll a fall. And whenever you climb the successful climb the move, you just move your, your character to the top of the car. Alright, now it's moved. Since there's only one red arrow here. Uh, yeah, and, and whenever you move the red side, Die downwards, you don't take that action. So now it's on a shake icon, but it didn't take that action because it was only moved uh, due to the to the attack. But it's still in the rage two, so it only moves one to the right. And what we're gonna hit here is a double arrow. Double arrow means two spaces forward. Maybe I should just go run quickly over these uh, different actions. Sun turns towards moves turns towards the nearest exit. If there's one, otherwise, if it's uh, already on the right path to, to freedom, it will just stay that way. Uh, one little uh, triangle is move one forward, two triangles and move two forward. This strange thing is a uh, two, and it means that move attacks. This is a shake, means move tries to shake off anyone on top of him. Um, this little guy with the spear means that Mook will turn towards the last demon who attacked him. Attacked it. Um, the little, the little, uh, little shake icon here is a mini shake. And then we have three arrows, we move three forwards. We have uh, on the other side, I just have to flip it. We have some backward arrows, it means it backs up one space. And uh, a double tooth is a double attack. So, um, so that's it. Well, in this turn, move moves two forward. And what is forward? Forward is downward towards the exit. So it moves one, two. All right. We um, need to stop it because it's on its way out to freedom. Brown, he will try to attract it again. It's uh, He's, he's a team player. We need to get it, uh, get it that way. Uh, green, he will try to run to it because it's very far away from green. And green can move one. You can move on top of other game and through them, but you can't stand, you can stop your movement there. So he moves one, two, three, boom. And uh, brown, he moves one and tries to. Attract it and a fall. Yes, yes, it's a success. Okay, Moog's turn. So, since uh, we are at the end of the card, we'll flip it and we'll come in on this side on the sun. That's quite unlikely actually because um, this means the attract was quite. Uh, didn't really matter. All right, so red player and white player again. White player is on top of the, of the loop, so he's, uh, he's quite set what to do. But uh, red player will try to to scare it because it's it's important. And we'll start by trying to make a scare roll. Hey, success! And white player. Will uh, make 
is that and the move, but the move will uh, will be unused because it does he don't really want to move when he's on top of the the mook. Uh, the attack is needs to be two or more to be a success. And he gets a plus two, so he don't need, really need to roll. The the mook is hit and he's down to four in health. Vampire took one life at one savage point. It was from the top, that's Plus one, so that's two altogether. And then, since since it's two points, as I explained earlier, you just move the one over to down side. And the last thing we need to remember, always remember this: increase the rate by by one and move it directly down. So now the the move has two actions. And it's moves turn now, so he start by back up one, and then he move forward one. Um, backing up, boom. Actually, normally this guy would move to that to the to the side, but uh, since there's a red player here, he just move him. And when you whenever you the, the move moves into you, it, it's a it's a hit, and uh, this means that. Uh, since move is on rage 3, the green player needs to make a 3 plus save roll. So on a 1 or 2, he's either. And it was a success. So he's uh, still alive. Uh, only trampled a little bit. And then uh, move moves forward 1. Yes. Now it's. Uh, did I do something? No. It's green and brown. I think, uh, yeah. Green hmm. will move. Green will move one and try to attack it. Move one and attack it. And move one and make a double step. Unfortunately for the green player, the brown player starts by moving one and then rolling. Double die, and it needs to be three or more. And since it's from the front, you get a minus two to the roll, so that's five or more, five and six. And he rolls, nope, and he rolls again, nope, and <clears throat> that was two unsuccessful uh, attacks, which means that the rage is up at five now. It's very angry. And then um, this makes it very hard, much harder for the green guy to hit it from the behind. He moves one, and then he tries to stab it directly from the from the back, which is on a minus one. Since the move is on a five rage, you need to have five or six, and with the minus one, it's only on a six that we are successful. And we don't start in the row. Woo! That was lucky. Move is down on three in health. It's on six rage. And the red team scores one point. Okay, I'm gonna uh, leave it up to you to guess uh, who is winning here. Um, the Moog is quite mad at the moment. Ah, I, I could take the move turn here just to wrap the video up because it's an attack and we didn't have one of those. Um, okay, the move's action this turn is, because of the three arrows here, it moves three times to the right. First action, double attack. And to make an attack, we were going to check these small white dice in the edges where it hits, and we're going to roll them one at a time here. Three. And that was to the side, and there's no one on this side, so no one is hit on that attack. And one. Okay, one is directly front and directly back. So green and brown are hit in this attack. And um, it's, a, it's a four plus save row. So uh, green first. Nope. And then brown. 
Nope. Both are hit. And when uh, when you're hit, you lift the card. And now you need to be aware that the the actions the Cameron can take is now has now changed to something different. But they actually should be a little bit better because they move they can move more now. Now he can move four because he's he's really mad. Cameron get mad when they hit. And this guy is now flipped as well. The next time brown or green player is hit, they are out of the game. So, but we need to remember one thing. If you get hit, you get one point. So now, both teams got hit, the guy will stay in the center. The second action from the move is a shake. And I'll just check here. Shake, then we need to... to throw off the white player from the top. And we're going to roll this die twice. First, to check which direction. Okay, a two. A two is front or back. White player can choose. He chooses uh, front. And then we're going to roll again to see how far. Round it down. One and a half round down. That's one space. He actually lands in brown player. This is not in the room, so we'll just put it here. Whenever you are thrown off, you need to make a save roll. As again, the 4 plus. No. Okay, everybody gets hit now. Um, and the move is really, really angry because the last one here is two attacks again. I'm gonna roll. Four. That's the right side. No one is here. And it's a double attack, so we roll again. Forward. And backward and diagonal. No one is here. And that was a move this turn. He actually injured three Kingmen. So now it's up to them to uh, to fix it, to kill him. And uh, it's up to you to decide who you think wins. Maybe I should play three and uh, I can tell you later. So hope this was helpful. Bye.